let's talk about a few drills that you can do to prepare yourself for the upcoming MDOT course. Remember, one of the things, the prerequisites for this course is that we want you to have attended, if at all possible, Craig Douglas's ECQC, one of those courses. This is an addendum to that, or in addition to that, rather. This is something that will help you process what you learn in that course a little easier. So one of the drills you can do to prepare yourself for that is the in-fight weapon access. Now, this isn't about timing windows. This isn't about timing issues and all that stuff. This is simply something that you can do cold to kind of prepare yourself to make that transition from boxing striking to weapon access. So here's what we do. We talked about the boxing blasts already. We want to talk about maybe a one or two or a three punch combo. So it would be like a one, two, three. On the third beat, you just drop your hand down, access the tool, come out and go to work, all right? So it would be either pistol or knife. So you could one, two, three. On the third beat, come down, access the knife and come out and then I'll incorporate that into your striking. Um, with the pistol, again, you're going to want to make this all as seamless as possible. We're really trying to get those transitions from empty hands to weapons so that, like we've talked about before, you don't really have to think about it. You know, we want to have an answer for everything from the harsh word to the hand grenade. And so this is part of that process. So in your personal training time in preparation for an upcoming MDOT course, I would want you to have at least a couple rounds per day where you move around with a weapon on you and then at some point in time you come in, access the weapon and go to work uh, and incorporate that into your empty hands work. Also, other things that you can do in your training time is you don't even have to go all the way to the presentation of the weapon, but just getting your hand to the weapon unencumbered. Uh, that's a big challenge, and that's one of the biggest things we see happen is we call it fouling the draw stroke, where I go to get the gun or I go to get the, pit, the knife and my shirt or my clothing gets tangled up and I can't get the gun out. So just learning how to get your hand down in the midst of your combination, clear the cover garment and get your hand in a good fighting grip on the pistol or the knife and just stop there, isolate just that phase, do that for several rounds every day, and then work your way into a complete presentation of the weapon. And then also, we'll talk more about this later, this weapon is also, if they're close, an impact tool. So you can incorporate this into your strikes. Right. Ichikomi, right? So it's yeah. just boom. You can just do that in high speed, nonstop, do hundreds of reps. Awesome. So they can do hundreds of these without ever like, cause you know, it takes a second now, I gotta reset. It's like, no man, I can just be grappling, fighting and then boom, get my hand on it. It's like, okay, had it. 